Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, world. Y'all stop talking to me about me twisting my camera. Damn it. They ask for beauty, not a brain. Mm. So, thank you all for subscribing to Coffee Time. It is Coffee Time. I do have my coffee. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? And I'm having me some sausage this morning. I didn't want bacon. I had sausage. I want to go to Chicago and get me some Bob Evans. And speaking of traveling, I will be in Atlanta on Halloween. A lot of you girls, it's birthday. <laughs> For the Miss Black Universe pageant, I'll be there for the final night, and then I'll be at Stars of the Century on Monday, and then I'll be in Columbus, Georgia on Tuesday doing stand-up with Doodle Brown, my boy. So I look forward to seeing you all if you can make it to any of those events. I'm not exactly sure if I'm performing on Monday nights at Stars of the Century. I'm waiting on Aisha to hit me back, but I know that's a big night for them because it's the day after they crown the new... Um, ruler and the ruler will be performing the male and female so i'm looking forward to that and um what are we gonna talk about today i got some cute questions today i got a lot of relationship questions i got a religious question too but let's go on first to the first news of the day i got some back back backlash about the whole lamar odom thing did nobody put no gun to lamar odom's head lamar odom did what he wanted to do he was a privileged person that a lot of us in this life would never get the opportunities or the advantages that he had. And he chose to take a walk away from God. Because when your faith is strong, you walk towards God, not away from God. I do feel bad about what happened to him, but I didn't do it. So those were my words and those were my comments. And you can agree to disagree with me. I don't make this commentary for you to agree with everything I say. That's fine because I'm not going to agree with everything you say. But you're not going to change my mind. I'll see your point of view or your perspective, but you're not going to change my man i'm not that girl i know who i am secondly i want to say shout out to that racist white bitch and culture i don't like you you white funny looking racist bitch but you shut that dumb hole raven simone down this morning on the view and it made me i almost had the bus i already woke up feeling some kind of way i had a dream i was sleeping with uh wiz khalifa and he had a hairy vagina oh my god i had to change my sheets good lord it was it was delicious oh my god I tell you, that Wiz Khalifa, I'd like to glaze his donut. Jesus. But he had to have a vagina. He ain't putting that big old dick up in me. So, hats off to you, Aaron Coulter. Because as, in as much as I don't care for you, I don't like that bitch Raven Simone at all. That bitch is dumb as a doughnut. And white people, you know how some people pretend to be white and pretend to be something. Y'all can have that bitch. The black race don't even, we don't even want her. Y'all can have that hoe. And keep her for good. Because she is an idiot. Completely. Um, let's get around to these questions. It was brought up to my attention about, uh, brought to my attention, a question asked me about religion. Whatever relationship you have with your God, that's important to you. Because I can't tell you to practice being a Muslim, a Baptist, a Buddhist, whatever, a Protestant, a Catholic. That is not my place to tell you what, who to worship or how to worship. All that I want you to do is have a relationship with God because then you'll know exactly who you can lean on and who you can talk to when you need him. No matter what religion you are, just have a relationship with God so that the, the assurity of I'm going to get a chance to see his face when my number is full and when my number is called because we all number, all of our numbers will be called. If you don't have a relationship with God or you're an atheist and you don't believe in God, and woo, 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 I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you because I don't know what's going to happen to you. I don't know what's going to happen to me. For, for real, I don't. But at least I know that I have to believe in something higher than myself. And I believe in the higher power of the Lord. So if you don't have a relationship with God, that's on you. I, uh, when you die, yeah, you'll find out. <laughs> uh, thirdly, I got a question about can you love two people at one time? That question kind of puzzled me because it seems a little selfish that you could love two people at one time. Although I totally understand because you love people for different reasons. You know, I was in love with a man, Larry Jackson, for years. And then I fell in love with my baby mama, Tasha Brooks, for years. I wasn't in love with them at the same time, but I loved them for different reasons. Non-sexual, of course. But, um... Yeah, I do believe that you can love two people at one time because I can believe that one person can be your soulmate, intimately, physically attracted to, or whatever, and then the other person can be that shoulder to lean on, that you that listen to you and you can talk to them and they're open. But it's, it's a catch twenty two in that because while you loving too and think they're only loving you, they could be loving too, 
And sometimes that show you lean on be that dick you ride on. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm stating facts here. So it's really a scary thing, but I do believe that that can happen. I got another question about race, about uh, uh, pageants. Yeah, we're not doing the pageant. Could you ask me about a pageant after I go see Black Universe. I'm so excited to see Naisha and Nicole and the girls on the show Monday night. I haven't seen a good, good drag show in a long time, so I'm excited about that. If you're in Seattle, I work at Julius on Broadway, and I will be there this weekend, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday brunch. I look forward to seeing you at 300 East Broadway. I also want to tell you guys that um, I saw a study on um, social media about the rise of STDs in Atlanta. This is, has nothing to do with HIV or AIDS. This is about all these other diseases, the uh, uh, E. coli's and salmonellas and chlamydia's and uh, gonorrhea's and syphilis. And they say it's a new strain of gonorrhea out that is tamper-proof. No medication will fight it. I know it look good. I know it tastes funny with the condom on and this and that. But, ooh, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, and I'm telling y'all. HIV ain't the killer now because you can take a pill for the HIV. Ooh, but some of these other things, these syphilis and these gonorrheas, they put all kind of sores on you. And your booty hole explode. And your eyeballs is hanging in your earlobes. And your neck get big and hang down low. Yeah, just... I know, I know you want to do it, young people, but ooh, get to 50. I promise you, your outlook on life going to be so different, but you got to get there. And don't get there in a wheelchair. Don't get there crippled. Don't get there uh, uh, incapacitated. Get there whole and loving. This is Flay Monroe. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love you, and I will see you soon. Peace.